Have you been told you need to stop doing what you love, whether it's exercise, running, or a sport? Well, here at Dynamic, we don't like that answer. In this podcast, we'll talk to leaders in the health and wellness space from Southwest Florida to get the solutions you need to get you back to doing what you love. Welcome to the Dynamic Naples Podcast. So I have a physical therapy student, and she's a total rock star. Her name is Kaylee. And we were chatting the other day in the office, and I, uh, I tend to tell a lot of stories. And I was like, Kaylee, I've got this story I want to tell you, and I want to turn it into a podcast. I need you to help me figure out how to make it relate to physical therapy or health or wellness. So I proceeded to tell the story, and at the end, I was like, so how do I do it? And she's like, who cares? It doesn't need to <laughs> relate to physical therapy. Just tell it. It's an awesome story. I was like, you know what? Okay, that's a good idea. So thank you. I, I learned something from you. And by the way, I just want to take a quick note here. For physical therapy students, when you're doing your clinical rotations, I remember I felt like I was like a burden to my clinical instructor. Not the case at all. We learn from you guys. You guys are doing some cutting-edge stuff. Sometimes we get a little behind the time, so you bring some new stuff to us. Every program's a little different, so we learn different techniques. So never feel as a student that you're a burden because we totally learn from you. Plus, as an educator... It helps us um, sort of cement our ideas and communicate better when we're educating you guys. So it's, it's, I personally love having students. So that's a little side note. So I'll get into a little story time with Dr. Chris. So go ahead, kick back, put your feet up, sip on your tea or whatever your beverage of choice is. We're going to tell a little story. In my 20s, I became an avid scuba diver. And I also met this guy, Gavin, who was from the Philippines. And he invited me to come stay with him in the Philippines. And the Philippines are known for amazing scuba diving, which, which it is. The water is crystal clear. You see all kinds of interesting things. There's a sea snake called the Wala Walo there, which means gone eight. So if you touch it, you're dead in eight seconds. So there's some stuff to be a little wary of. Um, it's all drift diving out there, which means they take you out and then they drop you in the ocean and then you just turn on, you go about 30, 40, 50 feet down, uh, and you turn your body sideways, and there's a current because there's all these sea cliffs, and you just let the current just drift you. And then you pop up when you're out of air, and they pick you up. Awesome dives. So anyway, I'm there with Gavin and this other guy, Brian, and we decide to go to the countryside, this place called Tagaitai, which is, uh, this is the island of Luzon. It's out in the, the countryside and known for some good diving. And it's pretty cool. This town has got all these, like, dead volcanoes. So these, you see these mountains, this big crater, and basically it's filled in water. So there's, like, lakes on top of mountains. They're really cool looking. And we stayed at this resort. I, don't, I wish I remember the name of it. And it was really, r- like, a rustic resort. It had a lobby and, like, a bar restaurant area. And then all these little cabins not connected at all to the lobby. Just, like, standalone cabins kind of on the on the volcano on the, like the cliff side so you have these like sheer cliffs when you step out your balcony uh pretty cool stuff anyway we've been there for a few days already uh and there's a few parts to the story so the first part goes like this so we're it's the beginning you know like sunset hour time we're in the lobby gavin has to go to the bathroom so he's in the bathroom and i'm waiting outside just kind of talking to him through the bathroom door and He's kind of taking his time in there, and I'm like, Gavin, come on, hurry up, what are you doing? And so I say, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to meet you down at the bar, meet me over there. So I'm down there for a while, and I'm probably on my, yeah, I'm on my second drink at this point, and I see Gavin running down and then start speaking Tagalog, that's the language of the Philippines. And I'd been in the Philippines for about a month or so already, so I kind of picked up a lot of words, and I hear him kind of speaking nervously, and I hear the word multo, multo. And I knew that that word meant ghost. And, you know, the Philippine people are very into ghosts and folklore. So, they, you know, they wholeheartedly believe in these things. And he turns to me. He's like, how long have you been down here? I was like, I, I've been here for a while. Look, I'm on my second drink. What took you so long? He's like, you weren't upstairs in the lobby, like, repeating what I said. So apparently, you know, when I said, I'm going down to the bar, meet me down there, he didn't hear that part. And then, I guess, shortly after, somebody was mimicking everything he said. Um, and then he thought it was me just kind of messing with him. So at one point, he, he quickly jumped out of the, the bathroom and went, ah, to try to, like, scare me. And then, you know, according to him, like, there was nobody there. So he kind of freaked out. So he thought it was a ghost. So that's part one of the story. Part two occurs that evening. So 
it's uh, we're on, they're in bed. It's the three of us, uh, and we're in this cabin thing. So again, this is really rustic. So it's just like, like a little bit of air in between the pieces of wood between the inside and outside of the cabin. And so I lay in my bed, and I hear this like hissing sound. And I've been hearing about like these bugs. There's a lot of crazy bugs there, like these hissing cockroaches. The cockroaches can be big, and they fly, and they make this kind of sound. So and it was right by my headboard. So I, so I was like, oh, damn, hissing cockroaches. So I start, like, knocking the headboard to try to scare it away or whatever. It doesn't change. It keeps hissing. And I'm like, I got to go to bed, I, whatever. So I just took my bed sheet and kind of wrapped it over my head and my legs and kind of tucked myself in like a burrito. Uh, so that was the end of part two of the story. Part three, we return to Manila. That's where his family lives. And we're meeting with his uh, cousins and stuff. And... One of his cousins is a headhunter, and I'll, I'll tell you what that means in a second. It's not the same as what we call a headhunter in the United States. So he's telling the story about the ghost of the multo, right? So uh, he's talking about how, um, you know, this ghost was just mimicking everything he said. And then the headhunter cousin was like, oh, he was mimicking? Whoa. He's like, that's a good thing you didn't hear any hissing. And I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I heard some hissing. And he's like, oh, really? He's like, that is a cannibal. So apparently, cannibals are in the habit of mimicking people. And according to this headhunter, a headhunter is somebody who hunts cannibals, by the way, uh, told me that they have this way of trying to decide if they want to eat you <laughs> by taking your essence. They're, they're kind of breathing in your smell. I guess apparently we have a different smell to us if we're foreign. Um, and I guess he was trying to make the decision. So apparently the, the cannibal was staying outside on like the ledge of my cabin, inhaling me to decide if he wants to pursue. And the headhunter cousin told me, the only reason you are here right now is because there was one of him and three of you, and he decided it was too risky. So <laughs> I don't know for a fact if that's what happened, but uh, it's pretty freaky. Um, that's the story I told my student, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, that's the end of my story. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Why guess when you can test? Do you get hangry or crash after a carb-heavy meal? These could be indicators that there is a dysfunction in your blood glucose regulation. If left unchecked, it can lead to irreversible changes. If you catch it quick enough, you can make diet and lifestyle changes that will get your levels where they need to be. 88% of Americans are pre-diabetic and don't know it. Diabetes underpins many of the pathologies we deal with in this country, such as obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. For some reason, it is rarely screened with your physician, and if they do test for blood glucose, it's usually with an A1C or a fasting glucose, which can sometimes give you a false negative. NutriSense is a company that supplies continuous glucose monitors. We've paired with NutriSense to get you real-time data to see how your physiology responds to glucose. The NutriSense app lets you track your daily activity to see how food, sleep, exercise, and stress impact your glucose. You can log or import this data into the NutriSense app to see the effect on your blood glucose levels as soon as it happens. Use the code DRCHRIS25 for $25 off your order today. Do you have unexplained pain? Or do you wonder just how healthy you are? When was the last time you had your blood tested? Blood chemistry analysis is a great tool to stay ahead of any health conditions. And now you can have control of your health with Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked is an incredible company that sends blood tests to your home. You can choose from over 30 different tests, whether that's thyroid function, testosterone, micronutrient, cholesterol, or C-reactive protein, which is a marker for inflammation. It is sent to you with free shipping and you get your results in two to five days. No physician referral needed. Use the code DPT25 for 25% off. You can find links in the show notes. Did you know that you can get started with physical therapy without a physician's referral? Physical therapists don't just solve pain. We get down to the root cause and keep it from coming back. We also discuss all things health, such as nutrition and lifestyle changes. If you feel that you could use some help, let's get on a free consult call. Go to www.dynamicnaples.com and sign up for a free call. Also, if you like this podcast, please give us a rating wherever you listen to podcasts. It helps us spread the message. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.